Uh, let's talk some hoop. What do you say? Man, uh, this is crazy. CarMax one-on-one. -on -one. Here's what we know in the Eastern Conference. Ooh, okay. Cleveland, New York. Uh, yeah. Milwaukee, Boston, Philly, Cleveland, New York, one through five. They are set. That's okay. No, that stuff matters. And number 10 is Chicago, so they're going to open up uh, on the road in the uh, play-in uh, against either Toronto or Atlanta. Um, Toronto is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is Miami. So is Miami. Oh, Miami's not there. Chuck stuff. That's big, it's, and it's a big night for Miami. Um, he'd have to win this game, or else they are in the play-in for sure. But if they do win tonight, they could still catch Brooklyn, though they would need a lot of help uh, from the Nets. Uh, two games left. The Nets uh, at, um, let's see, at home against Orlando. And at home against Philly, and they have the tiebreaker over Miami. You no, know, they want uh, who? Now you said Miami. No, yeah, I'm saying I'm saying Miami could still catch Brooklyn, it, but they need help because it, Brooklyn has six? the tiebreaker. Yeah, they don't want to be six. You don't want to avoid the play-in. You don't want to. You got a better chance. You don't want Philly. Why not? My, Why not? Miami, Miami can't beat Philly. You think they can beat Boston or Milwaukee? I think they got a chance against Boston. Oh my God! Do I you do. really? I do. So well, there's no guarantee you can beat seven either. Uh, well, I tell you, the only team on that list that I would fear be Toronto Raptors. At nine? Yeah. Oh, stop it. Oh, man, they got good players. They got a terrific coach. Sure, I mean, good. Atlanta. You can say the same thing about Miami. No, my, they got my, good players and a terrific coach. No, they got a couple good players. But, uh, Toronto got more good players. And they got a 500 record. I mean, <laughs> come on. Don't be fooled by that record. Miami stinks. <laughs> Jeez. Miami stinks? Sure. Yeah. Wow. Yes, my mistakes. I don't. I well, why do you say that about Miami? They're not any good. What part of their game? I know they don't score. They struggle to score. Good defense. Yeah, you know, team. you probably need to do that in yeah, basketball. Yeah, but you also That's need, a defense. You also need hey, to defend. Hey, they, 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 they fit right in. We should ship them out to the San Diego Aztecs because they can't score either. Chuck, you're not making no sense. They, uh, got, they got a better record than Toronto, and you're talking about you. No, Toronto's Toronto. had a lot of injuries. I like the Jacob Potal pickup. Portal, yes. Oh, yep, Potal. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, the, uh, Philly, that would be a great matchup for Philly. Great matchup. They would love that. Jet, you want to weigh in here? What's the most intriguing thing you see in the East right now? We have a matchup set. That's intriguing. We've got Cleveland against New York. That's intriguing. A Knicks team that uh, has been better on the road than at home, and they would open up on the road, and they've taken three out of four from the Cavs this year. Yeah, the most intriguing thing for me, obviously, would be the Cleveland-New York. I, I think. Who are you going to um, take, Jet? Um, I, I, I really, as much as I, I think T Cleveland's much more talented, okay. honestly. Uh, I think from top to bottom. Uh, but as a native New Yorker, you have to hope that at one time they get past the first round. It just brings an excitement to the city, friends, family, and everyone else, and even to the league, uh, because it's, it's delusional enthusiasm in New York. So if, if they win one game, they're going to say they won the series. If they win a series, they're going to win a championship. So I like the delusional enthusiasm that New York brings, even though I think Cleveland's a better team. Yeah, I think Cleveland. tonight Miami will have too much pride to want to be in a playing game. I think they go for six. I agree with Chuck. I don't think they can beat Philly. I think they can give them a run for their money. Philly is a good team, but one or two things go wrong. The whole season can go haywire for Philly. Joel is doing his thing, but you still have to count on Tyrese Maxey. Still have to count on James Harden, what he's going to do with Tobias Harris. I think when you have a team that's good, but we don't really know who their second guy is and they have a multiple of dudes that could be a second guy, I think if you take one of those guys out, you have a chance. So I think tonight Miami will win because they have too much pride. Being in the playing game is not part of that. Ernie, can I say what? something? Uh, you may. That's why you're here. Which camera am I? Camera four? Oh, geez. Oh, okay. no, screaming for, screaming for FaceTime. Right now. there. Hey, jeez. I am tired of this Denver Nugget slander. I am tired of this Sacramento slander. The Sacramento Kings and the Denver Nuggets gonna win a series. Oh, Denver's trying to go. I got Denver. A hey, hey, hey win Chuckster, a series? could you not wait until the segment where Please. we're talking about the West? Okay. Well, you, you, you told me I could talk. Yeah, but we're, we're talking about 
the East right now. Fuck we're yeah. talking about Miami. We're talking about Philly. We're talking about Embiid. Can, just, Save your thought. I, I, I promise you, when we come back in the second segment, you can have your single shot, and you can yap, 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 and guarantee. But winning uh, the series with Denver. Thanks, Arnie. Yeah, Denver certainly. going to get to the finals. Hey, sure. There you go. Hey. He asked me. <laughs> How the heck is going on? Can I, ask, can I ask you all guys about Embiid the other night, about the 52-point game? Very impressive, but again, I'm, I'm not quite clear on what the MVP criteria is because, I mean, it's him, it's Jokic. I don't know if they're going to go by record or go by stats. I'm, I'm, it, 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 should his name be mentioned as MVP? Yes, but again, I'm not quite clear on what the criteria is. If you go by certain criteria, you still got to talk about uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. They're in first place. You got to talk about Denver. They're in first place. But Joel Embiid, to me, is the MVP, but... I'm not quite clear on what the uh, criteria is, so I wish him well. I hope he does get it, but there's still some other guys there. You know, the way he played the other day solidified it in my mind, but according to this new rule criteria of what an MVP is, I don't know. Well, there's really not... There's not, no, I give you my criteria. there's not new rules criteria. Yeah, I mean, I always, always, criteria. It's always been a, a subjective... Yeah, subjective. I'll, I'll give you how I always looked at it, Shaq. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, the you first thing I'm going to about the records, though. No, the, I mean, well, the first thing, the first thing I always looked at, Shaq, when I was like, oh, man, who's the MVP? I said, who is, who's the best player and the best team in the league? Who is that guy? And you right? say Giannis. And I say Giannis. Okay, so I have Giannis down as there. Then I say, who's the best player in the East or West? If I'm going to take the other one. So I would say Jokic. I mean, Joker. Then I say, who's having a season that has some history or historical things to it? individually. So that's how Russell Westbrook came into play one year. And I would say Embiid over Tatum, even though Tatum has a better record. I would say Embiid mm -hmm. over Tatum. So my three finals would be those three. But I would say would Embiid's individual play outweigh what those guys have done in their record? Because unless it's close, and since it's very close, 52 wins, 53, 54, where they're going to be, they're going to be at. Yeah, 55. Philly and Denver have the same record right now. Right, yeah, and Philly and Denver have the same, but I'm talking about Milwaukee yeah. with Giannis. So now it's to me, it's not. It would be Giannis and and then be just because of, because of the record. And, no and then no, I would jump Joker over. Then I would take Embiid. Got to put Joker in there. No, I said oh, those three, mm -hmm. and I said because Giannis, Giannis is probably after 30 something points a game. He is. Like, this is, he's not having a 23 point. No, night. no, he's like, look, and I've got a ballot. So I've been, you know, I've been looking at all these numbers and kind of, you know, looking, okay, Giannis 31, 12, and 6. 31, 12, and yeah, 6. And be 33, <laughs> 10, and 4. Jokic 25, 12, and 10. Uh, and you look at the number of games, like, like the, look at the assist games for Joker. You know how many. How many games of at least 10 assists? Double-digit assists. Unbelievable. But in, but thir also, in 37 but, games. So the yeah, stuff he's doing the, out of the center position but, is, is jaw-dropping. But, but those, you're right. But don't those other guys get a little uh, check column because they're better defensively? Oh, exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That was just part of the thing. You look at that, and then you look at the two-way strengths of, of Giannis and Embiid. Yeah, I mean, no one's, no, one's, no one's going through the lane looking, trying to find Jokic. No. no. They're going through the lane like, where the hell is... Uh, and there's, there's not a right, and there's not a right and answer but and a wrong there, answer. There's three right answers. Yeah. There's three right answers. You know what's interesting? I always laugh when I see these fools and idiots on television talking about, well, this guy should have won MVPs. Mike Wilbon, who's fantastic, says, it's a regular season award. It's never went to, quote, unquote... To, nobody thinks Steve Nash was as good as Kobe and Shaq, but during the regular season, he was. Because... Michael Jordan. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Michael Jordan was the best player in the NBA probably for right three years. Don't crinkle up your before he did and then and then win MVP. Yeah. And you can you can't tell me when Bird won, he was better than Magic. He just had a better regular season. So I love when guys say who's because listen, you really uh, just you really thought that Chuck. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. no, no, no. I did not say that. I said he had a better regular hey, season. Chuck. You lucky I ain't take my medicine, because I would have fought your big ass on that one. 
But I didn't take my medicine. The Shaq. You're right. You're right. Shaq, I, I Steve, the, the Suns right. had a better record than you guys. Stop it. They didn't make it out the first or second round. It's a but regular season award. Smart. It's, it's what not a playoff award. That's what he's award. talking about. It's no, not a – it's, it's, not. Not it's, a, it's a regular yeah. season award. That man was averaging 15 points. Me and Kobe's averaging the upper 30s. You can't tell me he's the best player in the league just because he's giving say, assists. I didn't say – nobody you know think he's better than you and Kobe. Most but they had a – Most valuable player means you're the best player in the league. No, it does not. Yes, it does. No, it's the best player on the best record. Means you're the best player in the league. No hemorrhoid center. So, no, he had a BBL, he said. Yeah, it wasn't BBL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, oh, my. It's good to be back. It's oh, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like that. You want me to show you, honey? No, I don't. No, you? I don't. No. No, no, show no, you no, right no. Now, right? no. I don't want to see it. Now, yo, we got to uh, get suspended. I want to change the subject. Hey, talk about the West, Charles. <laughs> I'll show you right now.